Alright, so today I'm going to teach you how to put ringtones on your Motorola Crazer. I had a problem with it for the longest time, couldn't figure it out, but I finally did. So, yeah, here we go. Alright, first you're going to want to go to these two links. I'll post them in the, uh, the video thing, whatever, in the video somewhere. And the top one is your P2K commander. That will actually run when you plug in the phone and the second is Motorola software update which you need to run while running P2K or it won't recognize the phone alright so first we're gonna make a ringtone well yeah why not we got time alright Audacity is an awesome program for chopping music, putting in fade-ins, fade-outs, whatever you want. So we're going to open something here. Alright, let's see. Grab some Daft Punk. It's going to import it. And then it's pretty simple to use. You can chop it to, I've done them over a minute, so you can do pretty much however long you want. I'm just going to make this one about 45 seconds or so. Just highlight the area that you don't want and press delete and then highlight a little section at the end if you want to put a fade out go to effects and cross fade out you can also fade it in but it's at the beginning of the song so and then you're going to export as wave i have made a wave folder with all the ones that i've already done in it so i'm going to save it to there exit that and then if you search NCH software. They have a free sound converter if you don't already have one. I'll post that as well. And then we're going to find the Daft Punk. There we go. Convert it to MP3. I've made a folder, but you can save it wherever. Convert it. And then I'm going to plug in the phone. You're also going to need the drivers for your phone. Uh, you can get them from uh, Motorola's website or Google it. You can find them pretty easy. And a USB cable. So I've just plugged the phone in. And we're going to open up Motorola Software Update. It's going to find your phone. Just wait till it shows it. And there we go. Phone's recognized. You don't have to go to next. You don't have to update your phone. It's fine as long as Motorola software update recognizes it. Just minimize it. And then open up your P2K commander. I have version 3.2.2. It's a little slow, but it gets the job done, so I haven't tried other versions. I tried the newest one and it wouldn't work, so stick to this one. You're going to, in the left, area here you're going to select P2K mobile phone and it's going to read the file system on your phone and wait for that to finish okay and then it's volume A I don't know if that's generic or not but that's what mine is open that folder and then you're going to get all the files and folders on your phone. You're going to quickly scroll down a little bit and find my tone DB database and you're going to delete that. This will not break your phone, it won't hurt your phone. This is the phone's uh database 
of the ringtones on your phone. If you don't delete this before you add them, when you reboot the phone, they won't even show up because the phone has to rebuild the database with that tone in it. So you're going to delete that. It's going to ask you if you're sure. Say yes. Then the ringtones on the Crazer are in Motorola. Shared. And then ringtone. And there's your ringtone database. Now over here you're going to find the folder where you saved the ringtone at. It has to be mp3, can't be, or MIDI but I haven't found a MIDI converter yet so mp3 works fine you're going to find that folder mine is documents and settings rj desktop and mp3s And you're going to find the tone. Here's the Daft Punk. And you're going to click copy. It's going to copy it from the right side to the left side onto the phone. Wait for it to do that. And then it's going to reread the phone. There's one more step you gotta do before you can close all this and reboot the phone. You're going to go to the Daft Punk, right click it, go to Attribute, and if you don't have this checked, the System Survive Master Reset Clear, you want to check that one, and the Read Only Cannot Overwrite Delete, and then click OK. Gonna redo it again. Just give it a second. And then you can exit. If you have more, you can go ahead and do them at this time, but that's the only one I made, so. Gonna exit that. And then you're gonna exit the Motorola software update. Your phone will reboot, or at least semi reboot after this, so don't freak out it freezes for a couple seconds it will come back one second waiting for it to reboot alright so there we go then you're gonna shut it down can't see me doing this but that's what I'm doing reboot it and it will rebuild the database and your new ringtone will be in there hopefully I have enough time to show you real quick that it works So now we're going to ringtones and let's find it. There it is. So there you go, there's how to put ringtones on your Motorola Crazer K1M. Thanks for watching.